Ladies and gentlemen, the Mekong Delta, with its favorable condition for tourism, has not developed as anticipated due to challenging restrictions on creating and expanding tours, route, and Pacific tourism routes. To collaborate in promoting its benefits and tourism potential, the Economic and Urban Newspaper recently organized a conference on the subject in partnership with the Mekong Delta Tourism Association and the Department of Culture, Sport and Tourism. According to the organizing committee, the topic of the conference has both theoretical and practical significance with implications for the smokeless industry of the Mekong Delta. At the conference, a diverse group of experts, scientists, managers, and individuals involved in the tourism industry share their opinions on the current state of tourism activities in the region. They analyze the benefits, potential, opportunities, and challenges facing the travel industry. The experts emphasize the importance of establishing a connection between tourism location to ensure experiences for specific Megum Delta tourism offerings are effective and enhanced. To improve visitor experiences and encourage longer stays, we need to innovate our product line, additionally arrange for flights to and from Gangte. When developing agricultural tourism, it is important to consider the human resource concerns of farmers who have limited ability to engage in this type of tourism. To operate, manage and develop tourism in the Mekong Delta region, it is necessary to establish a coordinating committee. While regulations have been recently approved by Ho Chi Minh City and other Mekong Delta provinces, I believe that the effectiveness and efficiencies of these efforts will be enhanced if a coordinating committee is established. The conference also reaffirmed the press role in developing brands, constructing routes and tours, and promoting products in the Mekong Delta. To enhance tourism information, effective communication and promotion are essential. Press agencies can play a vital role in this regard by visiting and gathering additional information on different tourist spots. This can further help in creating specialized routes, web well pages, and even television programs to improve the substance of tourism information. On this occasion, the Mekong Delta Tourism Association also approved three new standards tourist sites in the Mekong Delta for 2024. The Khmer Ethnic Cultural Museum in Javan Province, Mei Tha Cruise Port in Ting Zheng Province, and an ecotourism site centered on the whole islet community. At the same time, recognized the Yip Hill in Anzang province as a typical Delta-level tourism site.